right, so let's add some ambiance to our game and get some music and sound going. So the easiest way to do this is we have to create a new file type, or we have to create a new variable, uh, or a variable of a new file type. That file type is going to be a sound clip. Sound clip. Now, basically, a sound clip is an object, which means it has properties and behaviors that it can handle and everything like that. So we're going to create a sound clip of whatever sound that we're trying to play. So to create a new sound clip, we need to give it a name. So the name I'm going to give it has to be relative of the sound that I want to play. In this case, I'm going to try. I'm going to start off with the gunshot dot wave sound effect, gunshot two dot wave. Sorry, and um, just because it's a quick sound effect that's very easy to work with. So all I need to do is type in. I'm going to give the name gunshot, S N D. So the S N D is short for sound, uh, sound effect, I should say. Uh, when we do music, we're going to put MSC, and it's just for readability purposes, so we know at a glance whether it's sound or whether it's music. So when I'm playing it, I know whether it's going to be quick or whether it's going to be long, relatively speaking, of course. And I'm going to say equals new sound clip. And now I need to give sound clip two pieces of information. The first piece of information it needs is the path to the file itself. Now I set up the Java game engine so when it looks for um, any form of media, whether that's images or sound, it starts in the res folder, again, sort, which is short for resources. So I just need to direct it from the res folder how to get to the file we want to get to. In this case, we want to go into the sounds folder. So, oh, I need slash sounds, sorry. Slash sounds, slash effects, slash gunshot two dot wave. And yes, your spelling does need to be perfect, so make sure you get that right. Now I need a second piece of information. I'm going to go into detail what that means in a second, but for now, just put a false down there, and uh, we'll go into detail exactly what that's going to do in a minute. So what we're going to need to do is down in update, I'm going to need to trigger the sound effect for in some way. Now we haven't learned this code that I'm about to show you yet, or you may have jumped ahead and you may have got to it, but basically I'm going to bind the space key to play that sound effect. So whenever they hit space, it's going to play that sound. Again, I'll go into detail in the actual list lesson for keyboard input during that topic but basically that's what this does it says whenever I hit the space key play the, um, I'm gonna say play the sound effect now when we want to play any form of sound whether it's um, a sound effect or music we have two choices we can say for example if our gunshot is called gunshot sound we could say dot play and that will play the sound effect or we can say dot play looping and this will basically play the sound forever until we manually stop it um, or the program ends. Now this is a sound effect so I only want to play it once. So we're just gonna hit that now we're gonna say we're gonna save it and we're gonna run our program. We should see it pop up. Now in order to make the keyboard work we have to click on the screen itself to give it focus. Now I'm just gonna hit the space key and we get our sound effect. Now I'm gonna pump that space key really fast and I want you to try and listen to the difference. You can probably hear the click of my space key over top of everything else. And what you notice is that this, the gunshot, I hit the, I hit the space key eight or nine times, but we only heard three or four gunshots. And the problem is, is the gunshot is still playing the next time I hit the space key. So basically that space key gets ignored. That's a problem. It's a problem for sound effects. It's not an issue for music, but for sound effects, it's an issue because you might be playing a game that has like rapid fire succession of sound effects, like gunshots, for example. So what you want to be, you want what you want to do is you want to be able to interrupt that current playing sound and basically start it over, so you can get a, a really quick, fast succession of that. So what we're going to do is that's what the second property up here is. This is a property called interruptible. Now right now I have that set to false, which means if I try and play it again while it's currently playing, it will ignore it. But if I set this to true, saying it is interruptible, and we run it, you'll see a much bigger difference. Oops, gonna hit the run program. Over here, click it to get focus, and now I'm gonna hit the space key. Easy, now I'm gonna pump it. You'll notice quite a big difference here. We can actually get rapid fire. This is fantastic. Now I'm going to put down play looping just to demonstrate um, that looping system. We're going to run this. F11. As soon as I hit space, you're just going to hear it go over and over and over and over again. Not in rapid fire. When it's done, it will restart. Oops. 
So that may or may not be what you want to actually happen, depending on what you're doing in your program. I'm just going to put this back to play real quick. Now, I have a couple other sound effects as well. This is the Legend of Zelda sound effect for opening a chest. So if I want that sound effect, I could just create another sound clip. And this one is going to be our Legend of Zelda sound. And I'm going to change this down here to Zelda. And just over here, I'm going to copy and paste this. And I'm going to bind this instead of the space key. I'm going to bind this to the enter key. So now whenever I click enter, I should get, let me change this, I should get the Zelda sound effect. Now, this is a pretty long sound effect, so I'm going to set the interruptibility to false. I don't want it to be interrupted. That might just be awkward when we're playing the game. So let me just run this program. Give it focus. And now if I hit my gunshot, I still get it. Now I'm going to hit the enter key, and we get the sound effect. Now what I want you to notice, while that song is playing, I can still do my gunshots. So we can have multiple sound effects playing simultaneously. And to be honest, I haven't stress tested this, so I'm not sure how many sound effects we can go, we can possibly get going at the same time. Um, feel free to try this on your own time. So in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to cover how to do music. Music has its own uh, tendencies, but uh, basically it works the same way.